Greetings creators. Welcome back to Create, Share and Give. I am Mayat Marie and today's card, Hoodoo Heritage. Today's card pull is Dr. Buzzard, which represents the justice card in the traditional tarot. And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. Ezekiel 25, 17. In the photograph, it's Galangal root. And I have my Galangal root, otherwise known as Low John root. Also known as Ganglaw, a powerful aid in seeking victory in court cases. Also is used in spells of money, protection, hex, and curse breaking. Dr. Buzzard is standing in front of a courthouse, laughing joyously after winning a case for a client. Behind him is Lady Justice, wearing a Congo witch doctor mask, similar to the one Dr. Buzzard's father would have worn in Africa. This symbolizes domination and being a law into oneself. Instead of the sword, the Lady of Justice is holding a bouquet of Galangal root, also known as the Chewing John root, because she now works for Dr. Buzzard. And that is his weapon. He is showing you a piece of root. In the other hand, in which Lady Justice holds the scales, there is nothing. Because his way is the only option. Dr. Buzzard put the scale to better use for collecting his cigarette ashes. Stephen Robinson, 1860 to 1947, a.k.a. Dr. Buzzard was a famous root worker from Salina Island, South Carolina. His specialty was chewing the root in court. And sometimes I've heard stories of people taking the root, they would chew it and then spit the remnants out in the courtroom for a more favorable result. Dr. Buzzard attracted clients from all around the country until his death in early 1947. The legend was Dr. Buzzard's father was a witch doctor who had been bought directly to St. Helena from West Africa. Robinson was known to have great spiritual power and was one of the most sought after root doctors in the South of all social and economic backgrounds. Justice is defined by the social construct of the majority in power. Most root workers believe in God or some other higher power, but they do not consider revenge for a genuinely offensive action to be a bad thing. That's if they consider good or bad at all. Since such dualities didn't traditionally exist, in Africa or indigenous cultures in quite the same way as in European cultures. It is not considered immoral to root someone who has hurt you or someone you love. No human will suffer so that the offender or the hunter does not. So that's quite the opposite of a you slap one cheek and then I'll turn around and let you slap their other cheek, which is what the enslaved people were really taught to do, to be more docile and submissive. Dr. Buzzard leaves you with a couple of questions. Have you taken responsibility for all of your choices in your life up until now? Did someone do something wrong to you? If no, don't sweat it. If yes, they've set the wheel of justice in motion against themselves. My grandmother used to always say, if you try to dig someone else's grave, you're really digging your own. Thanks for watching.
Until we meet again, take care.